Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host Josemo here and I am bringing you week 5 of the PML draft. And this is a very tough week. We've made a lot of changes, a lot of trades. Uh, me and Jaden actually made some big trades. He traded me a Cinderace and Slowbro, and I traded him Dracovish and Hippowdon. Then I made a trade for Nido King, giving up Steelix. And now we got to face Jeremy, who's ready, raring to go, and he brought the Phalanx he actually picked up in the off week. So this is about what I expected him to bring. Of course, I always prep for every mon possible. And uh, I kind of want to get Rocks off early. If he tries to bring a Pokemon to set up, we could Whirlwind it out. But I do need those Rocks to break the multi-skill on uh, Dragonite. He could be uh, Heavy Duty Boots, but I highly doubt it. I really think Rotom is the Heavy Duty Boots Pokemon that he uses. And you know what? I'm actually going to lead uh, Cinderace. Predicting that uh, Rotom lead. If he leads Dragonite, that's going to put us in a tough spot. But it's not impossible to get out of. But uh, nevertheless, good luck, have fun, Jeremy. And uh, let's see who could win this week five. Oh, because I need this win. Very stressed after last week's loss. And he's actually going to lead off with the Phalanx. Ooh, and a beautiful shiny Phalanx that is. Alright, so Cordova can hit this. So we're not too worried about it. Um, let's just go ahead and go for the Zen Headbutt. Okay, Libero changes us to Psychic type. And we hit. Beautiful. So, Oko straight off the bat from Cinder Ace. First week with the team, and I already got a kill on the first play. Now, let's see what he decides to go to here. Oh, and he's going Driftblum here. Driftblum has a lot of potential, can do a lot of things. I'm going to go for the Sucker Punch, hoping it attacks. It could go for... Oh, it's going to Dynamax right out of the gate. So it's definitely going to attack. We'll get some good uh, damage off with the Sucker Punch. Nothing too great, but you know. It'll put a dent into that thing. Alright, Shiny Driplum too. So we're going to change to a Dark type. And Sucker Punch actually does half. So if we could live with this hit. Oh no, we're not living this hit. That's a weakness policy. So Unburdened Boosted plus speed now. And plus two attack. So <laughs> I don't think we're ready for that. Okay. So I'm going to have to burn burn this definitely i'm gonna have to burn this right now <laughs> sadly i'm gonna have to go elsa here we are sashed so that'll help us out i'm gonna go for max hellstorm because it's super effective it's stab and uh residual hell damage could help chip down this thing if it does live it but it's definitely going to be faster than us so we're definitely getting hit first but very interesting on his part that he did bring a weakness policy because i brought weakness policy as well Okay, so we hang on with the Focus Sash. Obviously, we lose defense, but hopefully we can take this thing out here with the Max Health Storm. 
and we do so we should have a good chance to get off some damage on the next Pokemon as well and even so since the hell is up we do have a chance to start evading some moves thanks to a uh, snow cloak ability I do believe that's what I have here Oh, and he's going hard Dragonite here. Does it live a max rock fall? I mean, does it live a max health storm though? I don't think so. So I'm just going to click the button. Maybe he's Scarf. That's why he uh, he's uh, bravely sitting this thing out. Either way, if he is outspeeding us, after this move, we do uh, outspeed with Scarf Nido King. Oh, he goes Aqua Jet. Okay, that's fair. He's buffered by hell, though, so that breaks his uh, multi skill. I'm going to go Lone Wolf here. Maybe we can live. Uh, uh, Maybe we could live uh, Aqua Jet. Would be nice. And if we could kill with this Stone Edge here, we could be plus two attack. Because we are weakness policy on Lycanroc. The Lone Wolf. Come on, live the Aqua Jet. Oh, he decides not to go for the Aqua Jet. He goes straight to ride on here. All right, Lone Wolf gets chipped, but so does Rhydon. We're going to go straight to Skarmory here. So in we go to Rusted Wing. We are both at four Pokemon apiece. So, I mean, that weakness policy Driftloom could have been a lot worse than it was. Makes me wonder if we would have lived to hit, um, makes me wonder if we would have lived to hit from, uh, from Driftlum if we didn't, uh, knock it into, uh, if we didn't get the weakness policy busted on it. Oh, he's going for the fire punch. Rocky helmet's going to hurt him. We're going to get off our stealth rocks here. And slowly but surely, we are whittling this thing down. I'm going to go for Roos on the off chance we live uh, a fire punch. He might, he might just switch, though, to save some health on it. No, he goes straight for the stone edge. And yeah, we're not living that. Okay, I'm going to go Gummy Bear here. We are Assault Vested and Max Defense, so we'll live pretty much any hit. I'm just going to go for the Scald here. We will take some damage. Very smart on his play to go for the Stone Edge to avoid the uh, Rocky Helmet damage. Okay, so he withdraws right on. What does he go to? He goes to Rotom. All right, fair play. So we're going to get off the Scald. That's going to do good damage. And now we're going to go for the Flamethrower here. Oh, he's going for the Defog to preserve the, the rocks. To get the rocks off the field is what I meant to say. We're going to go for the flamethrower and just hit this thing. Hopefully we do some good damage. Oh, no burn. All right, I'm just going to go for the ice beam here. It hits everything on his team and we'll take out the Rotom. Just in case he volt switched or something. Oh, and Thunderbolt still did a lot of damage. Either way, Rotom goes down. 
And yeah, I'm breathing heavily here because I am nervous about how this battle's going. I wonder if he was afraid that we'd outspeed the ride on. I wonder how slow he has that thing. Alright, he could go Dragonite here, but we got Ice Beam to hit it. Now, I forgot his last Pokemon. I don't remember what he had in the back. Okay, he's going right on. So he's going to try to hit us with whatever he's got. And let's go ahead and see what he has in the back. Okay, so he still has Nihilego. So we, we still got something stuff in the back for that. I'm going to go Scald. We should be able to live the hit. We are max defense. Beautiful. Scald is going to take this thing down. Alright, so he can't get... We're just attacking whatever's in front of us. We're not just going to let this thing get free set up. Okay, so it's Air Balloon. We're just going to go for the Scald. Gummy Bear goes down. Nihilego's going to get his special attack boost. So it all comes down to, does Lone Wolf outspeed here? I don't think so. I really don't think so, and I think that's what's going to hurt us here. Okay, I'm going to go for the Psychic Fangs. Let's outspeed. I doubt we do, though. Yeah, that plus one should be enough to knock us out. Oh, it's not! Psychic Fangs is going to get the kill here. Ooh, Nihilego goes down. That is big. All right. If stone, we just got to connect to Stone Edge and we could win this. That HP investment was huge. All right. Stone Edge, baby. Let's win this game. All right. Well, Aqua Jet. Ah. All right, it's okay. We're scarfed. We're scarfed Nido King. And we're going to go for the Ice Beam. Multi skill is broken. This should one shot. For all the marbles, baby, can we get this win? Dragonite is faster somehow. We're even scarfed. But anyway, we get the kill, we get the win, and we knock off Jeremy, his first loss of the season, and keeps our season alive. GG, Jeremy, and good luck next week in the next battles. All right, guys, um, we made a lot of changes to our team. Uh, I know I don't normally talk much after the battle, but th this week was huge because this could have been uh, what dug us into a hole so far we couldn't dig out of. Because our division is fierce right now. Um, so I'm glad we were able to get that win. I'm surprised again that that Dragonite was faster. But, you know, all in all, it helped us out in the end. And we won. So GG to Jeremy. And we will see you guys next time.